we have what's called high quality streams and exceptional value streams. Those are supposed to be the cream of the crop streams. Those streams that through the Clean Water Act and through anti-degradation are not to decline in quality. And in these same areas, in the upper Delaware and middle Delaware, these high quality streams is the place where the Marcellus Shale is underlain. So I live in Philadelphia. I live in places where we see stormwater issues. We see a lot of benthic quality problems. But when I go up to the upper and middle Delaware, it really is still the cream of the crop. And this is where we're going to be drilling for natural gas. It turns out a leaky furnace. Uh, natural gas would leak out if it wasn't all being burned properly, leaked up to the top of the house into her room. And she developed signs and symptoms that I wasn't aware there was slow carbon dioxide poisoning. By the time I got her to the hospital, she had symptoms of MS. Uh, and, sorry, it was tough. She's doing better now. She's a great kid. She had a little bit of eye movement problem in her one eye from the uh, swelling on her brain got into her optic nerve. But above and beyond all that, I decided to shut natural gas out of my house, and I hope everyone here realizes that that's the problem we're facing right now. We've created a demand for something that we don't need. And it's absolutely unacceptable. And the TDS standards, yes, this is a step in the right direction, but we need stronger TDS standards. And in those areas, if we are drilling in those areas, and we have the brine, the woman before me spoke very eloquently about 800 to 300,000 TDS in the brine, that could be released, which we've seen in places like Dimmock already. We need to have a better aquatic life standard. Again, anti-degradation requires the state to protect those high quality and exceptional value streams for the critters that live there too, in addition to our drinking water with the 500 milligrams per liter. But we've seen with some studies, juvenile fish, uh, I believe it was striped bass, there was an EPA study that was done and they found that juvenile fish when you had TDS levels of 350 milligrams per liter, that, that they weren't able to reproduce successfully. So we need stronger standards. We need an aquatic life standard. We certainly need a moratorium. Everyone spoke so eloquently about that. And I hope we all build together, team up together. We can do this. Outside, there are some Riverkeeper fact sheets. There's Clean Water Action fact sheets. Please sign up if you haven't been part of that group. And together, we can hopefully get good standards. Thank you.